welcome to careerantics.com and our today tutorial is about how to apply access list on in linux on files and folders that's acl we will add some users here user add space acl1 user add space acl2 user now i will get the acl which acl we have on acl1 and 2 get is with the command get acl space slash etc we can Use a command get acl get facl space slash etc slash password. We can see we have the owner root group root and user read read write group read and other read and we will change the access we will apply the access list here how to get acl get ac get a facial space slash etc slash password pass wd which is a file and we can see file located at etc password owner group and root group and now i will go in user one we will see we can <coughs> which acl we have I will to run the cat space slash it is slash pass wd now I will open it with vim you can see this here you can you have only the read me read only permission but if you want to give <coughs> permission to local user for the writing as well and execute as well then you can apply x list over there <coughs> which is the privilege from the root as we are administration administrator or we are the root user we can give the password to local user we can give the access to local users with set fac now first of all i will set facl space hyphen m u colon acl1 colon rw slash etc slash pass wd we can see we cannot operate this operation in the local user because as a local user we cannot do this but if i will do the run the same command in the root user we can apply the access list on the acl1 which is a username with set is facl space hyphen m u colon acl read write colon read write slash etc slash password now i have changed the acl on the <coughs> user acl1 now it is very easy you can find it out user having the user acl having the read write permission now we will go in acl1 and again see the slash etc slash pass wd file with vim and we will see we can edit it or not we can see it and we can write it or not I will show you here now you can see you can edit your file and there is no readme option here li like we have before and we can insert anything here so it is a <coughs> privilege from the root user to the special user we can delete files we can edit files and we can do anything if we root user give us give the command give the all access to the local user now we will have exit from here now we will go to the acl2 and i will show you slash etc slash pass wd we can see it and 
vim space slash etc slash passwd here you can see the readme read only option is here now again we have we want to change this then again we will apply the same acl and we will give the an extended acl which will give more features to the local user on the behalf of root user or super user how to add user add access list on group now we will show you how to apply access group on access list on group now i will create one group with group add space abc now my abc group is created and i will add both users acl1 and acl2 and acl3 acl1 or 2 in the group with the commands user mode space hyphen g space acl1 <coughs> then enter ABC is a group and ACL1 now my ACL1 is added in the ABC group and my, my ACL 3 name ACL3 user is added in the same group now I will show you how to set ACL on the group set in force set FACL space hyphen M G colon ABC ABC is a group name colon read write now I have given the read write permission to the group which is having the users ACL1 and ACL3 on the directory slash etc slash pass wd now I will go to the user 3 and we will see we have added the ACL or not now I can see it it is the uh, advantage of giving the group is that you don't need to add access list on the different different users and you can give a you can make a group of the users and you can give the access list you can set the access list on the with one command and on all group all group will get the same privilege on the behalf of root user or super user that's you can see it get facl each slash it is a slash password here group is root, owner is root, user is read write, group is read write group abc is also having read write permission and we can mask it and in other in next tutorial I will show you how to <coughs> add how to remove access list so wait for that tutorial now ACL2 is having only the read only permission now thanks for your time and support my friends and subscribe me on youtube.com slash career and tricks thanks for your time